Hi, I'm Barbara Rademacher, and I am here to welcome you to the class and to say uh, I want to help you learn what you need to know so that you can do everything in the class. So I'm going to share my screen and the first thing you need to know is that you need to know you need to go to the NWAC webpage. www.nwacc.edu You can find really relevant to you information if you click right here on current students. I know you probably can't see it. Well, maybe you can't. Click on current students and you will see all of this information, my NWAC, Canvas, student email, um, academic calendar, and then lots of other course information as well. Almost anything you would need to know. You can also go to my NWAC where you can log in. This is one way to get to your school email. Here's my school email. Right there in mail. Let me see if I can make this larger. Maybe it's large enough for you to see. Mail, right there. Um, success planner is where you can contact your advisor. And Canvas is where you're going to go now. All right, right now my spring classes are an obnoxious pink, but that's just to get my attention and I fully intend to change their color. My color has nothing to do with the color of your tiles on, um, on your dashboard of uh, Canvas. OK, first let's go to your account. You'll have a, an account there, at least I think you will. And go to notifications. Here you'll be able to decide what you would like texted to you. I know a lot of people prefer texts or if you want push notifications. For instance, something that might be very handy would be uh, due dates. You don't have a lot of due dates in Canvas because most of your work will be done in my math lab. We'll talk about that. OK, now I'm going to click on dashboard. And I'm going to go to one of the classes I'm teaching, but what I say is going to be true for all of you. This is where you end up. I'm going to the student view there. This is what you'll see when you first go into your class in my NWAC. These are the announcements that I will have written and they're automatically emailed to you in your Canvas email. You'll also see links to when our class meets. Now your class might or might not meet at this time. It all depends on the class you're in. But you can go there to enter class. I also have uh, a link to my uh, office hours, which are also called help times. And uh, I haven't quite decided what those are yet, but by the time you see this, perhaps I will have them posted. Over on the left, you have two menus. You have the gray menu and you have the white menu. The gray menu is where you'll find your inbox which is denied to me right now because I'm in student view. 
so I'll go back to class. Yeah, I've got right. I've got to leave student view. There. All right, we'll start this again. Life is so hard for a teacher. I just can't tell you. All right, anyway, you do have two menus, the gray one, where you will also find your inbox. And over here is where you find home, which is right here. Announcements, um, that concentrates just on the announcements. However, you can open them from here, I believe. Let's see. Here's a link to the free Microsoft Teams. You do need Teams to attend class. And that's what this announcement says. Like I said, when I write an announcement, it's automatically emailed to you. So most of you have probably already read this. However, you do need Teams to attend class meetings. Now go down to your syllabus. No, in fact, first I'm going to go to home because it's important that you go to student resources for a lot of information. Do you need tech support? Click, click there. Um, click there for counseling services if you're feeling very stressed. Counselors are different from advisors. Advisors tell you about your classes. Counselors help you with your emotions. You get information about Microsoft Teams right here. That's the link that I offered in announcements. Also, how to get Microsoft Office and OneDrive free. Click to the library, um, click to all sorts of stuff. There's even a link to your NWAC email in here. OK, I wanted you to see that. <laughs> OK, I'll go back to dashboard and I'll leave student view. You, you're not going to have to go to all this trouble. I have to because I'm a teacher. View calendar. Here's the calendar. And here are your due dates. This is what's up for tomorrow, the first day of class, which is January 11. OK. Now I'm going to go back to dashboard. While I'm still in teacher, I'm going to go to a class. Now I'm going to go back to student view and hope I don't have to go through all that again. Syllabus. You need syllabus. Extremely important facts about this class was already emailed to you, but in case you added late, you have got to read this. It's one page, one page, and it has the very most information about our class including how much everything counts, how you take a test, all of that information. Syllabus, below syllabus in course summary also lists when all your test days are. Here's the class schedule. I need that and you need that. The class schedule will be about your class. When everything is happening, when everything is due. Going back to syllabus, um, instructions for registering in my math lab. This was also sent to you in an announcement, but it's it's always going to be in syllabus. Watch the instructional video and then you will understand this entire process for signing up for my math lab. Which you have at a discount, you don't need to buy it now, which is why I said to not purchase anything. 
the only thing you're really going to need to purchase is a calculator. And what's recommended is the TI graphing calculator, TI 83 or 84. They're both very much alike. Now, where to find my math lab help during week one? My math lab is where you're going to be doing work, and we're going to talk about that next. But here is your key to getting help this first week. OK, that's the syllabus. And as more information is available, it appears in the syllabus. So you should just check through it. You don't have to read everything, but just check through it once a week. This document is the official syllabus. It has all of the official information, all the dates, but of course your calendar does too. It has everything, including how to get in touch with me, how to get in touch with a representative from the math department, how to get in touch with the most important person in your life, in your life this semester, not me, but your math advisor, Michelle Batchelor. She's the person who can give you information about math classes, including what math classes you need for your major. She can also put you in touch with representatives from your major area, what you decide you want to go into. She is the most helpful person in the world. Next to me, well, no. I'm the most helpful person next to her. She is the person you need. The math advisor, Michelle Batchelor, and there's her email address at, at in WAC, we communicate by email more than anything else. We, are, we people who work here are always being called out of our offices, or in this case, away from classes to go to important meetings, especially with the pandemic, especially with the political situation. We have lots of meetings we don't expect to be called to that we are being called to. So the best way to communicate with me is by email. bradamac at nwacc.edu. OK. And that's the wrong link. That's the link from last semester. So I have to go in and change that. Don't click on that or you'll just end up in last semester's class. I didn't see that until just now. OK, back to syllabus. Anything else I really, really want to talk to you about? Oh, yes. OK, back to this document. Because in here, I believe I have. This. Required TI 83 plus or TI 84 plus or TI 84 plus CE graphing calculator. Those are available everywhere. If you have a financial aid voucher, you want to get it from the NWAC bookstore. But if you're paying for it on your own, go to Walmart, go to Target. They have it. Or order it online. Order it from Amazon. Order it from Walmart. Order it from Target. What else is in here? If you want to know all of the official stuff about your class, it will be here and uh, there's a longer document about how to get Microsoft 365, which includes Microsoft Office and Microsoft Teams and Microsoft everything free for you because you're a student at NWAC. OK, first day. When you click here, you're going to see the link for your class. But don't click on anything until you've watched the instructions. 
and watch the video. This is where first day is where you click to reveal your code and then you go to my math lab and you sign up for my math lab. What is my math lab? Let's check it out. You have all assignments. Well, first you're going to have to register. OK, so you're going to go through a registration process by clicking here. Instead of open my lab and mastering, it's going to say um, start here. And you're going to do what you need to do to build an account for this semester. But since I'm already registered. Aha, there, this is what will happen. OK, so you're going to go to I accept. And then you're either going to use your uh, username and password from Pearson that you've used before, or you're going to create a new account here. And I think I'm going to do that. Um, I doubt that it will let me do it, you know. Well, let's try. Let's try. I'll put in my personal address, Barb Rad 42 at gmail.com. OK, and my username. Yeah, it's going to tell me I already have an account. You see, this is very hard. I'm going to have to make a separate email with an account name I've made up. Anyway, you'll fill this out, create an account, and then you'll already have the number that you need to enter uh, uh, into the sign up process in order to get your account. After which, I will become a teacher again and take you to my math lab and we're going to look around. If you click on this, you'll always see everything there is to see. You'll see assignments. You'll see chapter contents. There are a bunch of different links for the book. This is one of them. You can go to any chapter you want, like chapter nine. That'll be our last chapter. And you can actually view the book. You can go to a uh, chapter opener and that'll put you in the book. This is just one way to do it. It's not the easiest way, dude. OK. And you can click through the book. All right, let's get rid of this. Um, OK, I'm going to go back to the main menu. That's what I want. E-text is also the textbook. Study plan we don't use, but feel free to look around at it. Gradebook, this is the gradebook you're going to be using. Uh, skills for success. This has some good um, good ideas about uh, how you can succeed at really any course, but especially a math course. Multimedia library includes the textbook, but also includes all sorts of stuff. Let me pick section three. How about point three? We're gonna be doing chapter three and then section three. You have all of this stuff you can look at. College Algebra Essential Topics video, multimedia textbook, videos, animations, interactive figures, a personal inventory assessment, chapter test prep videos, learning activities, and PowerPoints, all for section 3.3. 
So any section you're doing homework for, you can jump over here to Multimedia Library and get all the information you would already need. But if you go to Assignments, and you were to go to say section 3.3, let's just look around. Notice you've only got four homework problems, and this is the video that tells you how to do them. You would find for any homework problem, skill builder and question help. And in question help, you can ask for step-by-step -step help in solving the problem. You could ask for step-by-step -step help from viewing an example, <clears throat> which is actually better. You can click on the part of the textbook that talks about this section. You can, all that calculator is, I really should take it out. It's just a, a shopping kind of calculator. There's nothing fancy about it. Um, ask my instructor is a great idea for you. Because for any homework problem, you can go to uh, ask my instructor. You can tell me what the problem is. And then you can send it. It will go directly to my email. Then when I get that in my email. And it should be coming up pretty quickly. Well, trust me, it does come up. There it is. When it does come up, this is what I get. Let me see if I can make it bigger. No. OK, I get this in my email along with your message and a link to the version of the problem that you're looking at. This is probably the best way to ask me a, a math problem. To ask me about a math problem. OK. As you'll see in assignments, you have homework. Every four weeks you have a practice exam and a real exam, and you'll be proctored by Proctor U and have to pay $4.25 every time you take an exam and do that with a gift card or a credit card or a debit card. $4.25 is not exorbitant. But our testing center is not open right now because it cannot guarantee um, uh, social distancing. Once everybody uh, has had their shots, the testing center will be open again. All right, so. And then at the end, you have a final exam. You will also have a practice final exam. This is exam three, and I have not yet put in the final exam. See, exam one, exam two, exam three. There's practice exam three. This needs to be moved up there with practice exam three. And then the practice final and the final exam will appear down here later in the semester. OK, I have helped you all that I can think of helping you. Right now, as an introduction and a welcome, I want you to go right now and see how and, and read the syllabus. OK, at least read that one page most important information. Then read the instructions for signing up for my math lab, then sign up for my math lab and get to work. And if you're in a class that has a class meeting, I'll see you on Monday, tomorrow. And if uh, if you're not, then I'll 
see you whenever you want to see me. I will have my office hours, my help times up by tomorrow. So you have a great weekend. What's left of it is Sunday at almost noon. Um, and tomorrow, let's see, my first class meets at 7.30 a.m. My second class meets at 10.30 a.m. I have another class that meets on Saturdays. And then if you're in the online class, I'll meet with you anytime you want. Okay, I'll see you. Bye-bye.